Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happened. We've been talking about doing this for a long time. It's I been wanted a while. to be with you live, not yeah. in a hotel room, just here. Yeah, just, <laughs> just here. Just here, ladies and gentlemen, the Bob Saget. Yeah. All right, Bob. Thank you. Yeah. I've, I've legally, Bob. thank you, I've had legally the has been added to my name. Yeah, yeah. that's good. The, the Bob yeah. Saget. Not to be confused yeah. with any of the other Bob Sagets that are running no. around. I did not yeah. choose this last name. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Bob? I'm really good. How are yeah. you? We're, we're good. We're happy to have you in studio. We've been talking about this for a yeah. while. I know, and it's terrible. Mm. I'm like on a press junket selling something like every other minute, and you're, yeah, you're right. like, why can't you be there? And I'm like, I don't know. No, it's, it's all not good. Fair. It's, it's, it's good to see. We, we had Bob in studio with us. You, In fact, we gave you a... We called it the key to the Woody Show. Like, it was the only give, like, one. Yeah. The key to the city. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And uh, we, we dubbed him the mayor, the of, mayor the of the Woody Show yeah. right. when we were in San Francisco years ago because we saw him mm -hmm. so often. He was always in the Bay Area. Nice. Yeah. But it's, we've been at this station for five years and five we've years. talked to you on the phone, but we've one never had you no. in the studio. I've been yeah. in this studio when other people were in here, but yeah, no, I no, never no. liked any of them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were dicks. I'll tell you what's really funny. You just called them? Are you allowed to say that? Yeah. Wow, this is heaven. I was... Uh, parking because that's what you do when you go sure. somewhere. Yeah, and and then I uh, I couldn't find it. They said park by the Whole Foods, and I every there's no Whole Foods underground. So then I, I just came out of the ground like Batman, and and then I go. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to call my daughter. There's no signal in the building, so I mm -hmm. went over to a phone. And all the lines are blinking, but I didn't know what that meant. And I thought I would just call my daughter. On one of those lines, but those yeah. are like contest people waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hello, who's this? And they go, it's Bob Saget. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so cool. Yeah. I said, I'm sorry, I got to hang up on you. You got to yeah. call back. So yeah. they got out of place. They lost their place. Yeah. So besides coming in and being social and everything else, uh, Bob is a working man. Mm -hmm. He's got some shows. You've been touring the country doing stand-up mm -hmm. comedy, but yeah. going to be at the Irvine Improv this weekend. Uh, tickets and other dates for where you can see Bob Saget on his website, bobsaget.com. Uh, I think the last time we talked to you, you had just uh, started with the whole, the Red Box original thing that you were doing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Benjamin, yeah, and, right? Uh, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. Thank you for mentioning that. It's the yeah. first original. And they got 58 million subscribers. I didn't know what that meant until yeah. I found out it's a success. Now I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> people can download it yeah. or stream yeah. it. Everybody says that to me all the time. You can download yeah. it or stream it. That was my dating years. But, right. um, yeah. <laughs> but it's like doing really well. People yeah. are really digging it, which is really nice. So thank you for letting me yeah. be on that promo ho trip i was on yeah and staying mm -hmm. real busy too videos after dark which mm -hmm. we also talked about last that'll time, be coming is, up it's that's coming this up. fall yeah it's, it's actually it's, it's a little bit after the fall i'm not allowed to say it but i oh. just did mm, okay. <laughs> like, like, like slightly okay mm -hmm. but it's a 10 o'clock at night show and i love it because there's a the disclaimer at the beginning and it's like girls gone wild it's like don't yeah. watch this don't see this don't replicate this <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's bob saget <laughs> yeah so it's kind of like a uh like america's funniest home videos but more of an adult version there's right? no contest mm -hmm. it's it's yeah. kind of like what i used to do but it's more of a nightclub feel and it's yeah. not like That's you cool. know since, since then you know all my descendants tosh and Rob, yeah. Rob yeah, yeah. Deerdick and all, yeah. everybody. I mean, your phone, you know, George Lopez below yeah. the post stuff and everybody does it, but this is concentrated. This is the resin. This is yeah. the, the bong resin of, <laughs> of of people getting hit in the nads and, uh, nice. and, and being, uh, they scramble the signal. So you're worried. That's how they look naked. And that's, that's I try to explain to people that's pixelated. But, so, uh, <laughs> are people, my, my question about that show is, are people sending in videos or are you going out and finding them? Or well, I go out more? myself with a metal detector mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I go show. by the, the, by the, the beach. Royal yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a video. I actually, uh, they upload them. That's, that's yeah. the whole new thing. Yeah. Well, there's a, just nowadays there's whole services that just collect them and then they'll take them to shows. But it, it, that's true, but yeah. this one is different because Vinda Bona, who was is the boss, he and I are exec producing together with the lovely lady Michelle Nasser. Didn't touch her, I'm married, but um, <laughs> but uh, they actually have their own library for 30 years. Oh, they've wow. had all these videos they accumulated, so now they just uh, you know block out the bad words, and uh, I get to say them if I want them, but I don't yeah. really need to. You know, when they give you permission, it kind of takes out that. Either. No, it's like yeah. telling a nine year old you can say that. Yeah, in school, yeah. it's like yeah, true. Darn. And so that uh, videos after dark show that'll be a little after fall, on, <laughs> allegedly uh, on ABC. <laughs> I'm uh, weatherman, allegedly. allegedly. And, now, I, and I, I'm I off. I, I'm off earlier today than usual because I would stay till you were way past closing. Right. I, and I appreciate that invite because I, I want to yeah. come back soon. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll be promoting something else. He's so you know busy. It. He's got to like go like tape some stuff. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go direct. Yeah, yeah. I'm directing a, a movie that Kevin Bright, who produced Friends, uh, we're directing a movie. I'm directing a movie about Martin Mull, 
uh, who's one of oh, my heroes. Cool. Yeah. And so I've been interviewing Steve Martin and uh, Eric Idle and Norman Lear. And this morning I have to run from here to go interview David Allen Greer, who's just Oh, oh wow. wow! Hilarious. He's still curing meats. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think so because they like, not. That's a hobby. Yeah, it was like I don't know. Was interesting. Yeah, like he, wow. He was a guest one time on the mm-hmm. show years ago, and uh, we were talking about a bunch of different stuff, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this whole conversation sprouted about uh, curing meats, and he's got like all right. kinds of stuff set up in his house. And he was he was so pissed off. Yeah, because California mm-hmm. changed. The rules about how you could cure meat. Yeah, and he was really well, he mad. He was really worked up about. It. He was very upset. Yeah. He gets upset, but but oh, he, he does. he's also so funny and yeah. special and great actor. But what's weird? I'd like to talk if I could because I know overseas a lot of our listeners, a lot of our service people, mm-hmm. are out there, yeah. right? Yeah. So I, I salute all of them, and I want to also say it, it can be lonely out there, you know, on a ship or, or if you're based somewhere. Yeah. And if you need to have your meat cured, go see the medic. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> I went all that oh. all that way. Yeah. Just for that. Uh, my hat's off. Oh, this is going to be really emotional. That's, good. That's how he stays fresh. That's how he stays busy. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With things like they yeah. call them dad jokes now. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is just really. It just means they didn't bother to think of a joke, so they want to criticize my pun. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've been doing it so long, yeah. you know, and yeah. and, and stand up as well. But uh, I love doing it. I'm married. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just seven months, so that's why I say it to myself yeah. all the time. It's like uh, you know, trying to stay in a, in, a, in a program. Your wife's like a travel blogger or something. Yeah, right? she is. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's so got you her get, own like free te- trips for the, doing that, right? Well, actually, she, mm-hmm. th- there's one I'm going to go on a swag. I got a a, a, a swag wife, um, so I get to go on one trip. We're going to go to uh, Switzerland because she's nice. sponsored wow. by these. It's a film festival, so I yeah. get to actually. Be part of that as well. See, I so. thought that would be kind of like a cool job to be a critic oh for something God. that you really Can you imagine. Like, yeah. so Greg, you'd like wine. Like, yeah, if you were a wine it. critic, oh. and then you just got free a wine, wine or a food yeah. critic. I think it would be the food best. Critic, travel it's critic. Just giving your opinion, yeah. but does she have to go to crappy places too? Or well, she does by choice sometimes, like street food and stuff is stuff she likes, uh-huh. not things you find on the street. Yeah. yeah. Again, to our, our all of our service men and women, yeah. uh, if, you, <laughs> if right. you find something on the street that is not street food, that's yes. on the street. Yeah. But, I, I, but uh, actually, she, she is a uh, it, it's m- food. It was mood and food. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's m- mules and feed. Yeah. Um, she works in a farm. Um, <laughs> she cured my meat last night. But what happens is she. It's called Eat Travel Rock, and that's her series. And she also yeah. has been doing segments for extra. So she's been talking to a lot of people, and she ate meat for the first time she's wow. been a, a veganish a pescatarian which oh, okay. means she worships fish yeah. uh it's a religion <laughs> yeah. um and i can quiet a room <laughs> <laughs> well, they invented dead air on radio <laughs> for me, just specifically for me i'm working on being a better listener you know yeah. me too yeah. Yeah. I, well when i come yeah. in it's like i I don't, I don't stop so i apologize no, you know what? Because I, uh, I'm so I knew, happy to be here. Cause... I knew that your wife was a, a travel blogger because I looked up a bunch of stuff on Google. Do you want to do a really quick got it on Google? Whatever you want. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something I found on Google. You tell me if it's true or not. Okay. It's true. All right. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, you say that you were responsible for introducing Sam Kinison to stand up. Uh, no. I introduced Sam Kennison to Mitzi Shore at the Comedy Store, mm-hmm. and I was there to help tee up his first set ever. When I met him, it was in uh, Houston, and um, he had felt that he was being abused by the comedy club, so he chained himself to a telephone pole in front of the club <laughs> and dressed himself, and uh, uh, forgive me if this offends anyone, it won't be a uh, foul, it's just something he did. Sam Kennison was, if you don't know, was a, a brilliant, crazy comedian. Yeah, who out of was his mind. Out yeah. of his mind, and he was also a preacher. He was. He had the whole tent show, right. like Leap of Faith, mm-hmm. the Steve Martin movie, yeah. and, and Sam chained himself to the to the telephone pole. It was on the front page of the Houston Chronicle entertainment section and he dressed himself in a diaper and a crown of thorns and put ketchup on his head and said that he was being persecuted like Jesus by the comedy club. Oh, wow. <laughs> and and then he would and he because yeah. he was doing his act. Yeah. <laughs> And they, they kind of forbid him, and then there was a place for him, which was uh, in stand-up, because uh, you couldn't ignore him. And I don't yeah. know what would happen with him coming out today, you know, because mm, we are yeah. in a different world. Yeah. And, um, but funny is funny, so he'd be, he'd be reinventing something, and it's, it's tragic that he's gone. It's, fun- yeah. it's tragic yeah, a lot so of the really funny. great people are gone, and some of the people we don't like that much are still, still here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah. Uh, all right, so found it on Google. Okay. True or not. Uh, do you want like a, a full house factoid? Oh, 
Sure, I'll go with that. I don't that. know if you're just tired of talking about that or if it's I still... forgot that I was even on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I just did a Fuller right. House uh, just two weeks ago, oh, so sweet. I'll be doing more of those. All right, fine. So. Do you want one involving Dave Coulier or not involving Oh, Dave it's Coulier? always good because there's flatulence okay. if it's Dave. Yeah. <laughs> right, so during a basketball or gym scene, Dave Coulier once outed you as having a small penis while on the set of Full House. Uh, he definitely uh, outed me, but it, it's not true because. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, of course not. And Dave knows that, yeah. Yeah. and and I was able to silence him with it. Yeah. <laughs> Gave him a gag order. I did. I, I yeah. got with the, with the ball and the, with the leather. Yeah. Got it on Google. You love talking about the college cheating scandal. Uh, never. No. never, never. I'm talking about Felicity Huffman's part. I don't uh, yeah. know. <laughs> Everybody I asked I, you about the other about Lori, but I'm, we're asking about Felicity Huffman. That, that no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I am so yeah. you know it's funny I people know. always go. You're, the reason I brought that up is because I saw you on uh, the Dan Patrick show, and yeah. it, it, like it, it seemed to come out of nowhere, and we're like, oh man. Yeah, they went in like inside yeah. a dish. Yeah. And then he said you didn't want to comment, and then he followed he up with something. Yeah, uh, I thought that was yeah. kind of a dick move by Dan Patrick. So you know, a dick I don't move like is usually anymore. to the left. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See what I do? See, I can't yeah. deal because it's all so painful, and we're in a society where people want to know that stuff. But it's yeah. like the tabloid I, I get of it, it I, all. I, that's the reason I brought it up. I don't. Mm. I don't expect the an answer. And I, I, you know what? If You're I was involved in something like that, you know, right, I would. Sure. I want to really no. keep her mouth yeah. shut. That's true. <laughs> right. At least until it's over and everything's all settled, and then people can talk about it. And but what ask I, about I, it. I just want. Uh, Peace and love and understanding, yeah. and then all my wiener jokes. That's yeah. 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 you know, because that's what I do when I do stand up. I not people go, he's so dirty. A couple specials, I was bluer than others. You know, yeah. one I dropped f bombs a lot. It was, yeah. it was, but I shot it at NYU. How do you talk to the college kids? Well, yeah. not today. You can't. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now they say, please don't, don't curse. Yeah, right. And they say, well, thank you very much. Right. Lovely, <laughs> yeah. lovely playing the monastery. 